Hello and welcome to the first favorites edition for Rouge 18. Are we so excited about the new site launch or what? So for November's favorites, I'm getting it in just under the wire. Um, it's Tuesday and Thanksgiving is Thursday. Um, so let's discuss. Let's discuss all we have to offer. So here, here are five of my favorite, favorite, favorites for this month. Some of them can be holiday gifts. Some of them maybe gifts to yourself. Um, but they're all phenomenal. So Lather, the first thing we have is Lather's Holiday Candle Sampler. And this is so phenomenal. It contains, I just want to show you, it contains, um, how many is that? Five, six, just kidding. It takes me a little while to count sometimes. Um, it contains six little mini candles in varying scents. We have Lavender Lime, Cinnamon Orange Clove, and peppermint and lemongrass, and we also have cranberry orange, and these are great. Lather makes phenomenal scents. They're all really fresh and not too cloying, actually not cloying at all, so you will love, love, love this, as will your, your recipient. The next thing we have is this very wallet-friendly Nivea Kiss Me Trio. This could be a great so stocking stuffer. It comes with a Nivea Kiss of Shimmer lip balm, and it comes with a, um, a little... Two, a set of two lip butters inside. So you can see there's one on top of the other. Um, phenomenal. Love it for stocking stuffers, um, maybe a gift for your office mate, your cubicle mate, whatever. Everybody will love these. Then we have Alme. I love Alme, by the way. It's like one of my favorite brands forever and ever. I kind of think of it as like Budget Clinique, because I know it's not going to mess up my face game. It's not going to clog my pores. It's not going to give me acne. Um, so I try it with Wild Abandon, and this Smart, Smart Shade CC Luminous Primer is so, so awesome. It gives you this, like, Edward Cullen in the meadow gleam without being too, like, teenager at a rave or whatever. It's just really nice. It's like a pink tinted primer, but it goes on fairly... Um, it goes on sheer, and it just sort of creates a really nice base for your makeup. And they also have this Smart Shade Foundation, which is also really good. I'm wearing that right now, but didn't make it into my list of favorites, although it is a phenomenal product and I will review it in the future. Next thing, I love, love, love this. We have Julep's Year in Review and we have a ton of tiny little gems from the year, from the year, from the um, famous nail polish brand. I don't know if you know this, but they come out with new nail polishes every year and like, so everything they do nail polish wise is limited edition. So they never come back. So when you love a julep polish, you have to like buy the shit out of it because it's not coming back. And these, um, this is 12 of their, um, this is a 12 piece set curated collection of their greatest hits from 2013. And then lastly, we have this Riri Loves Mac Super Slick Liquid Eyeliner. And I love this. Um, check out the rose gold packaging. So gorgeous. The color is called cockiness in true Riri fashion. Side note, did we like her hair at the AMAs or not? Sound off in the comments. I'm not really sure if I liked it. I liked that she was so bold to make a statement, but mm, I just don't know if that hair should be shown at an award show. Although I liked it. I don't know. She kind of pulled it off. I'm clearly conflicted about it. Tell me how you feel about it. But back to this, this is such a phenomenal product. It's a rose gold liquid liner, and I like to put it, I'm not wearing it right now, but I'm going to be wearing it at holiday parties. I like to do it in the little inside V in the inner corners, and it's such a beautiful color payoff. I actually have a little, um, that's my birthmark, by the way, on my hand, not the product, but it's like a little gleamy um, swatch on my hand because I was just testing it out. Phenomenal product. Anyway, thanks for joining me for November favorites. I will talk to you soon and have a good Thanksgiving.